Hey guys, I want to talk to you about something that's plaguing our society today, and that is depression, despair, and even suicide. For too long of a time, I've been doing too many funerals for young people who have taken their life because they get into despair, they get into depression, they think there's no way out, they think there's no hope, and there's always hope. I have seen that a lot of people, they either live too far in the future or they live in the past. You need to live one day at a time. You're thinking, well, you know, I know there's no future for me. There's no hope for me. And you start looking down the road months and years ahead, and, and those things might not even ever happen. Every day is a new day. It's a gift from God. So don't think too far ahead. Don't live in the past because what is done is done. And so I think to get out of despair and to get out of discouragement, the first thing you might do is stop thinking wrong thoughts because when you think wrong thoughts all the time, it's going to affect the way you feel. It is that simple. What you think, you feel, and what you feel, you become. So catch yourself when you're thinking these negative thoughts and replace them with positive ones. Number two, get out of a rut. Some of you are doing the same old things every day, every day, every day. A few years ago, I was depressed, discouraged, I, I was just really down in my spirit. And, Someone asked me to go to the motorcycle races, and I go, gee, I don't do that kind of thing. I'm not into motorcycles. But finally, I thought, well, you know, it's better than doing nothing. It's better than sitting around here being depressed. So I went, and I absolutely loved it. Let me say something to some of you, and this, this might really, really change somebody's life, but, but suicide. Suicide is the most selfish thing an individual can do. I've had old old, old saying for years that says, Shoot me or hang me, but don't drag me to death. And when you think about committing suicide, what you're thinking is this. You're thinking, I'm in pain. I'm, I'm miserable. I don't want to live anymore. I'm selfish. I want to get myself out of this. I want to end my pain. But what you're not thinking is the unfairness of this act. You're going to take your pain, you're going to get out of it and put it on somebody else. And so your loved ones that are too courageous to take their life, they're going to live with this every day and they're going to be tortured day after day after day. Oh, you got yourself out of your misery, but what about them? It's self-centered and I pray that none of you are that self-centered. You don't have to be a victim. You can be proactive. I had a back problem the other day and my back was killing me and I thought, man, I can't get out of bed, I can't go anywhere, I can't do anything. And I just felt like being depressed. I have no future. But instead, I went to the gym and I asked the trainer, what can I do for a lower back? I went over to Santa Barbara, got some new insoles for my shoes. I started stretching and I thought, I'm not going to be a victim. Just because there's no answer to your problem today doesn't mean there won't be one tomorrow. And then try prayer. Oh, I'm guaranteeing you, prayer works. You say, well, I've never tried prayer. Then you can't knock it. If something works, it's not wrong. And so I'm telling you today, one of these things or all of these things can really help you get out of despair. It can help you get out of depression. You don't have to stay the way you are. You're stronger than you think. So I know this is going to help you. Share it with someone else. Take it to heart, whatever. But I will be back with more thoughts. God bless.